do, Stella Gang. This boy BMG up class, the big stepper. Geek with me, don't tweak with me, cause you know I got that heat with me. Don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just seeing you too. That's what the BMG niggas do. They get big rats. You feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. And that's a fact. BMG got this city hot. Foul. Don't fuck around. Okay. Hey man, and today we're gonna be reacting to all the shenanigans that's going on between the Bronx and Harlem, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on with these little niggas. It's like 2023. Matter of fact, I won't even say 2023. We're gonna say these little niggas that that started coming outside like 2015 and shit like niggas got no loyalty like at all bro like it's so many link ups that i watch go to shambles just because sometimes niggas say some shit and the nigga be sensitive and everybody get mad and then niggas say the most disrespectful shit but let's get straight into it and see what this nigga niggas is dealing with man oh no 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 this shit in my headphones, I'm tripping. This is crazy. And for OYGs or the end of the end, depending on who you're asking. Basically, as y'all know, about a week ago, Spongy, who's super close to Shy K and Sugar Hill, ended up going back and forth. Deads were mentioned. They were smoking on each other's deads. And Shy K was basically stuck in the middle. And I don't know if this has anything to do with Shy K and his decision of what side he's picking. Yo, this what niggas got to understand, bro. If one of your mans is going back and forth for the nigga, you don't have to pick sides. It doesn't matter which side you're, 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 you're affiliated with or who you knew longer. If you and someone have a bond, like... If you were some, like, especially, like, with this Sugar Hill niggas, like, these niggas was basically carrying each other's drama, bro. So, niggas could have got killed over other niggas' drama, and now they're not fucking with niggas. They could get, and they still could get killed for the same drama they picked up for other niggas, right? It's not making no sense to me, bro. You, you, niggas could have just say, yo, you know what, yo, bro, y'all already know, man, I fuck with these niggas, and... and Tell the other niggas, yo, these my niggas, man. Y'all niggas squash that shit. If anything, y'all niggas fight it out and shit like that. But nowadays, niggas, niggas not tough. And niggas, the first thing they say is, I don't fight. I don't fight. I'm clapping niggas. Should be crazy. But basically, now, some people from Corland, known as 150. If you don't know 150, they're a group from Corland. A lot of people associating with the younger guys from Cortland. They're all usually under 18, younger. That's just what they call themselves. And they're all from Cortland. They basically went live and they've had animosity and they've never really liked OYS, never really linked up with OYS. Always said they were Harlem K and they end up going live and started smoking on a lot of OYS deads. And here that is. Come over here. Water my mother. What are you talking about? Jiggy, he's wrong. I came to the hell. What am I mother? Oh, Smoke on King's Little How to Stop. Ah! Chicken spy. Yo, I'm off the stove. Yo, King's. Oh my God. Man, say Kiki. Yo, Great Debbie. You was not on shit. Bro, bro, word of my mother, you was not on shit when you came to my hood. What are you talking about? You was not on nothing you came to my hood. Nah, just took a job, trade. Yo, the thing, the shit about this live shit, it's like, the only reason niggas go live to argue is because they know those lives get the most views. Like, niggas don't go live regularly just to just regularly just talk about regular shit because nobody watches the live. But when they see, oh, this shit flicking, oh, people tuning in, let me say more disrespectful shit. The more disrespectful shit, the more spicy it gets, the more people tune in. Then the, then the ops come commenting shit, and the shit get more spicy, and there's more views, it's flicking, it's flicking. And that's all niggas really care about, the clout behind the shit. And then they, they don't think, yo, shit, people could die behind the most simplest shit. You feel me? As going live and smoking a nigga. Like, it should be, it'd be corny to me, bro. I mean, and broke down. Yeah, talking about Yo, cow! Yo, cow! Yo, cow! 
Yo, Cal, yo, Cal, yo, we took it to the off. And I went to the... Yo, do the low. Come on, stop. Come on, stop, do the low. Stop hiding. Smoking naughty. Oh, 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 Yo, we used to take the A boy. Yo, we used to take the A boy down the block to the head. It's crazy that the nigga, niggas be calling niggas day room and then do shit like this. Like, this is day room, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas talking about shit they did. Like, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, it never ceased to amaze me, bro. It's like, these little niggas are just like... I don't know, they jail bound or some shit. We you were like you were scared to come out. Oh yeah, look. You were scared. scared. Yo, you were scared to come out. You taking your own watch. Stop sharing the tricks. 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 And yeah, after that live, y'all can see they was talking crazy. Goofy and shit. something interesting that happened in the live was Shai K. He ended up commenting on the live a couple times. He said, I'm going out with my 150s. Nobody smoking Ida, and then he said we smoking Ida's cousin, also known as J Benji. J Benji is associated with the Blamas. The Blamas are cool with the G's, so Shy K doesn't really have no loyalty. It's almost as if like these niggas been had some animosity and shit. You know what be happening in, in little circles and shit. Niggas be talking about niggas and shit like yeah, these niggas, niggas pussy, bro. Uh, uh you know what? It, it, it might start off as. A nigga wanted to do a song with a nigga, and a nigga ran around, beating around the bush to do the song, or a nigga ain't do the song, or taking long to do the song, and then it'd be like, oh, niggas be thinking they lit now, they only lit off of their brother and shit, these niggas wasn't lit before, these niggas was doing songs with niggas, now niggas don't want to do songs with niggas, and then it'll, it'll start a whole beef like that over stupid shit like that, not saying that's what it ha happened, but like, it, it, shit like that, cause, you know what I mean, all this drama they be going through. Towards J Benji, but it's also good to note that Sugar Hill never smoked on Benji or ever brought his name up because he was blood related to Roscoe, Edot, a couple other people from Sugar Hill. So Shy K basically saying he's not smoking on Edot, but he's also smoking on Edot's cousin. Y'all could tell me how y'all feel about that. But also in that live, Duty Low was there. And Duty Low put a couple facepalm emojis, and it looks like he doesn't agree with what, what the 150s are doing. And then we got Blackwork, he ended up commenting about Shy K. Shy K said he was going out with his 150s, and Blackwork said, yeah, he going out with his 150s for show. And then we got... Yeah, I ain't going for I cannot stand this Blackwork kid, bro. Like, I really can't stand this nigga. He, like, always gotta be in the midst of some shit. He, like, a little fucking... He, they, you know them fucking gnats? He's like a gnat, bro. Them little flies and shit that just mad annoying. This nigga's like a gnat, bro. Like, nobody respects you, even the niggas you defending, and you defending them. Like, this shit is just ridiculous. This I really, like, I can't stand this nigga, bro. COB Wiki, also associated with the 150s, he said, boy better know how to duck, playing with the dead. And then Baby Omerita, also associated with the 150s from Cortland, would post his location and the time that he is there. And then Shai K would post again saying, for bro, I'm crashing out. And then he would also post saying, I love you, baby boy, at e baby. And then a couple hours would pass and this is- Yo, what this shit crazy though. Like, it's, it's crazy. You, you're not gonna smoke on one nigga, but then you're gonna smoke on his cousin. And it'd be so crazy sometimes if this shit get even more heated, 
Sooner or later, niggas gonna end up smoking on E Dot too. Like, these niggas is, is just different, bro. Where the OYs would finally respond, we got AJ Watch. He's saying he's OG's K, making it very known about that. And then we got Sensei. I don't know where he lies. I've seen him on Cortland. I've also seen him get jumped on Cortland. I've seen him cool with the OYs. I've also seen Roscoe chasing on Sugar Hill. So I don't know where he lies. But he said, this shit watered down, we're the bro. Y'all not smoking Dot, Naughty, Wasco, or Ty Mills, gangsta. Y'all losing it now. And then Wasco, it seemed like he was napping during this whole time because he posted, said, I wish I was up earlier. And then he would post a picture of some OY members and himself saying, who trying to go meet their friends for real? And then he would post a throwback clip of Baby Omerta and a couple other 150s. Ah, yeah. Baby. Look at Pee Wee. Peewee on my mother, you peewee. Is that what? Peewee. Where the mama was? And then finally, someone that's not in the middle, Tata from 4 1. He ended up reacting to all this, saying, oh boy, with a couple of laughing emojis. It's, it's crazy because, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, like niggas is beefing with other niggas and picking up each other's drama. And now look, you see the perfect example. Tata said, oh boy, this is somebody who they all been dissing and going back and forth with. Now, look at it. Do you think that now that they not linked up no more, that that beef is, is done? Oh, we not cool with them niggas no more, so we not beef. What? And if that ever happens, yo, you know, bro, this shit definitely watered down. And this shit is wash. No funny shit. And I've always felt like this OYG's link was never really going to last. And it's very sad because OYG's was basically made up of Shai K and Ida Baby's relationship in the music. They started with the music and then they got the bond. And then that bond turned into OYG's. Everybody started linking up. I think at the start of the year, we all seen Sugar Hill, Keem, Ida, Baby, all the old wives go to Cortland, and then everybody from Cortland go to Sugar Hill. It was really a link up, and then it just felt like everything was falling apart as the year progressed, and we never seen it really get back to where it was. And then you consider the loss of Ida, someone that Shaike was super close with, now out of the picture, where does that leave OYG's? We don't know at this current moment, but it seems like they keep going back. All right, this shit looks very dumb. Because think about it, right? Think about it. Shy K and Eda cool. Now imagine Eda didn't pass away. And this same situation would have happened, right? And then he would have picked sides and smoked Eda's cousin. Now, do you think that Eda would have been okay with it? And then say, oh, yeah, he at least he he he, he not dissing me. He, he dissing my cousin instead? No. Eda would have picked up for his niggas and say Shai K and them niggas K and smoke on one of they niggas. Now Shai K and Eda, who was close with each other, calling each other brother, would have been beefing with each other. And it's over something that neither one of them started. Like, this shit goofy as hell, bro. Back and forth. I don't know if the spongy situation had anything to do with this. And the sad part about it is, if this is the end of OYG's, those people ready to ride or die for this link up, what PJ Glizzy is allegedly locked up for, is something revolving around OYG's and their link up. And we've seen the writing on the wall. We've seen B Love <coughs> show no love to no OYs. We've seen 150 say they were Harlem K months and months ago. But now it seems like Shy K is calling an end to it. And I know Sugar Hill is going to feel away either way because Shy K smoking on Eda's cousin, Roscoe's cousin, Jay Benji. But y'all mean. Yo, I ain't going to front, man. I think this shit is stupid as hell. You niggas linked up with each other. Y'all had a, 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 a bunch of ops with each other. Y'all niggas was dissing niggas for each other. Y'all niggas was beefing with each other, with other niggas because of each other. And now y'all have permanent beef because of each other. And y'all want to beef with each other now. That shit looks so stupid, bro. That's why I be telling niggas, I ain't with the pig side, dick rod shit. Dick rod is dick rod. This gun got a beam, so it mean I won't miss. Like, real nigga shit. Like, nigga, fuck all that. Link up dick rod, pig side shit, nigga. It's me and my niggas or nothing, nigga. You feel me? We cool, we cool. We doing music. Nigga, I ain't jumping into your drama. I ain't dissing niggas for you because we making music. None of that shit, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? If something happened, if we cool like that and something happened while we with each other, you feel me? It's only right to, you feel me, hold niggas down because niggas with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, obviously somebody come 
ooting at you while you with your mans and them. Your mans and them supposed to defend too because anybody could get hit, right? But at the end of the day, like, as far as picking up drama and doing all this, man, all that link up shit goofy as hell. Why niggas be linking up anyway? Why niggas be linking up anyway? It's like, I don't even understand this shit. Niggas need more numbers to beef with their ops. And it's crazy because niggas ain't even really beefing for real. Niggas just dissing niggas on songs and shit. Like, that shit goofy as hell, man. That shit look bad. Y'all niggas supposed to be getting rich together. Y'all niggas beefing. And I guarantee you, it might come out that it is over some music, bro. Niggas probably was supposed to do a song with each other. And niggas probably say, oh, niggas feeling like they too lit now. And they don't want to work with niggas, bro. I bet you it's over some goofy ass shit like that. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas got to wise up, man. Cut all that corny shit out. It don't look good. Only the dumbass fans, the little kids going to instigate it. And they going to pick a side as well because they like one side better than the other side. But come on, my nigga. Y'all niggas are doing better together. Y'all going to beef with each other to entertain the internet who really don't give a shit about y'all niggas. Like, niggas like me who, who react to this shit or the page who made this video that I'm reacting to. Niggas don't give a fuck about y'all niggas, bro. Niggas don't. Niggas make money off of the content. You feel me? Niggas covering the content and shit. But niggas don't. I don't give a fuck. You think I give a fuck about y'all niggas beef? I don't give a fuck about y'all niggas drama, bro. Like, it might be some rappers, you know, you build a bone with and they cool and shit like that. And, and y'all got that mutual respect for each other. But, nigga, I still don't care about niggas' drama, bro. Like, niggas don't give a fuck, bro. Like, guess what? If you die, niggas gonna go react to the next rapper. Niggas gonna go make stories about the next rapper, my nigga. Stop killing yourself. Stop doing all that dumbass shit to entertain the wrong motherfuckers, bro. Like, no funny shit. The cops sitting there like this. Cops looking like Birdman right now, rubbing their they, they hands together. Yeah, we about to get another indictment. Look at these dumbass little niggas going on live, exposing all the shit. Oh, pull up here, pull up there. Do you dumb niggas think when y'all tell y'all ops to pull up to certain location, the, op, the cops, the real ops, ain't parked up the block waiting in an in a unmarked car to see what's going on? They up the block like this. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm We're going to see. And then, then you know what's funny sometimes? They'll let y'all do the drill. They see who do it. They'll let y'all do the drill and, and make you get away with it that day. Now your dumbass think you got away with it. You feel me? You on the internet provoking niggas, talking about it, oh, smoking on da-da-da. They got their paperwork that it's you already. You feel me? They let you go do some more dumb shit. And then when they bring you to court, now finally they arrest your ass. It's like, oh, yeah, look. Yeah, we was there. We saw what happened. You know what I'm saying? We didn't arrest him right away. You know, he got away. But then he did this afterwards. And then look at this live video with him taunting people about it. He's ruthless. He doesn't care about anything. And that's how they sink y'all ships. And y'all niggas be thinking it's, it's rats and it's other... No, it's y'all niggas sinking y'all own ships, bro. Some of you niggas don't... Man, I swear, bro. Some of you niggas need to go to college or some shit, man. That's the street shit ain't for y'all niggas, you heard? But nevertheless, man, y'all niggas comment in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation, man. It's your boy, BMG Upper Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell notification so you notify every time I drop a new video. If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.